Hey guys, it's Tony from Fem Yes here. So in this video, let's talk about how to grow and save your edges underneath your wigs and weave. Okay, so the first thing I would say when it comes to protecting your edges is number one. Now we all know this, we all know this tip is to definitely do not braid your hair too tight, okay? Um, and honestly, I will say this disclaimer i'm not a dermatologist i am not a cosmetologist i'm not a professional stylist these are my own personal opinions from my own experiences if you want professional advice definitely go seek a dermatologist disclaimer okay so let's get back into it so like i was saying <laughs> Don't get your hair braided too tight. Now, if you do not know how to cornrow or braid um, and you go to a specific stylist and they always braid your hair too tight when it comes to putting, you know, installing your wigs or sew-ins with, with um, bundles, go, some, go, go to a different person. Or honestly, I would say suck it up and teach yourself how to braid your own hair. Like watch a couple of um, YouTube videos I think I might do a video um, on how to cornrow your hair underneath your wig um, if you need help in that area. So definitely make sure your hair is not braided too tight. Tip number two, this is something that a lot of people do not talk about, is, is the direction of your cornrows. I believe, it's my own personal opinion, the direction of your cornrows can definitely um, determine the tension that is given towards your edges or your hairline, and that can make it worse. So I'm gonna have two different um, hair patterns that people usually do underneath their, their wigs. Okay, so for the first hair pattern, you always see um, cornrows are being cornrow going down from one direction. Now the problem with this pattern is that when you have one cornrow going down, right? All the hair, all your hair strands are being wrapped into woven all into this one cornrow. That can lead to tension around your edges because you're pulling your hair back all in this one cornrow. So it's like, it, it just can lead to more tension around your edges. I would recommend instead of having one row down, do individual rows going straight back instead because then the, your hair on your edges are just a one group. They're in set groups, they're not being pulled the tension isn't building up. So when you have one cornrow going down, the tension is building up in that one cornrow. Instead, like I said, have separate cornrows going back. So the tension is not building up all around your hairline. I think that would definitely, definitely help alleviate any type of um, tightness that you have that might cause your hair, um, your hairline to be thinning over time. Okay, so that's my second tip. Another tip that I have, I'm gonna take this, um, and you you might think this this um, third tip is kind of ratchet, but this is this is what I've been doing. So my edges are actually pretty delicate, and they've been they they're thin in the, these parts because when I was in high school, I used to get perms, and over time, those two areas always got they got thinned out, and they never really fully um never really fully came back in, so. Let me just take this. So there's a couple of things that I'm doing to help grow my um, edges underneath my wigs. And I wanna share it with you guys as well. Okay, so this is my hair underneath my wigs. So as you can see, this area is just thin. Let me see. This area is just, it's a lot thin compared to the rest of my hairline so this is what i've been doing as well so instead of just use having cornrows all on my edges i literally been putting my hair in um just twists and honestly when i put my hair in like individual twists around my edges i literally i don't have any tension like i could i don't even, i barely can feel these t twists around my hairline like i have no tension and then tonight i'm gonna just braid my hair going straight back so, I mean, I know it look, the hairstyle might look kind of ratchet, but... <laughs> and also with the twists, you know, my twists, they lay pretty flat. So they'll lay flat underneath my wigs. Um, so that's what I've been doing when it comes to alleviating tension around my hairline. And also I would say with having individual twists or braids on your, um, on your hairline, then 
in that case, it w it should be okay to um, braid your ear going down if you don't want to braid it straight back. Um, also, another thing too, you do have to realize when you do braid your ear going straight back, all the way back, make sure when you get to the nape area that you don't braid it too tight because all that here is gathering in this area. This that can also lead to tension behind your neck and every time you like move down or if you're sleeping that can lead to tension behind your neck and that can lead to breakage and thinning of your um your nape area so be very careful if you do go straight back um another thing i'm doing while i'm having twists in the front um of my area there's two um products i'm currently using i'm using this product it's called the virgin oregon miracle drop it's um by smart care it might show up backwards for you. Um, yeah, I got this on the beauty supply store. It just states to shake well before use, can be used on dry or damp hair, apply only to the balding scalp. So this has glycine max, soy oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, menthol. I think menthol is it gives you that activating of stimulation like peppermint oil, and I think that's what really is helping on top of that, at nighttime, I'm using the Ordinary Hair Care, and this is um, multi-peptide serum for hair density. Um, this recommends that you only add it once daily, ideally at bedtime, on clean, dry scalp. Now, the reason why I'm using this is because I, I saw um, Fusion of Colors, she actually recommended this for edges, and what made me want to buy this was the... Um, testimonial pictures the before and after pictures um i am not sponsoring any of these products i bought these products with my own money honey okay um but i was very impressed so i just have to be more consistent i'm not consistent with you with using this um and just so that's my um that's my path is i'm using these because honestly i adding just castor oil to my scalp every day it doesn't seem to <laughs> i need something i need something more i need an extra boost than just castor oil so I'm using that. Also, I would recommend <clears throat> if you're trying to like save your edges or grow your edges is make sure you actually touch your hairline every day or every other day. Are your edges dry? How do they feel? Like give your give your edges some attention. Give it some love. If it's dry, then spray just lightly spray some water, lightly spray some water and then seal it in, then seal it in with some castor oil or use like a um, hair growth serum and do that on a daily basis that is something I also have to get more consistent at doing I hope these tips were helpful if they were please subscribe to the channel um comment leave any comments below um like this video share if you like to share and also I'm giving a free guide to my it's called the lace melting guide this guide will consist of several videos it's an online course you can take if you want to learn or if you need help when it comes to beginners and melting your lace. So if you are trying to make your lace lay flat and you're and you just you just you're just giving up. <laughs> if you feel like you're giving up, then girl, I got you. It's a free course. Um, it's step by step. It's not rushed like a lot of the um, videos you see online. I call it hair porn, honestly. Like, <laughs> Now you can watch video after video after video and you're still like, I can't get this lace to act right. So if you need help, sis, the link is above my head and I will send you a free copy of this online course. Um, it's definitely several videos and we go in depth when it comes to melting. Well, when it comes to, first of all, how your hair should look like underneath your wigs, number one. When it comes to bleaching the knots, we go into detail with that. When it comes to laying the hair on your wig flat, how you should you know, which wax sticks to use, which flat irons to use, um, how to melt the edges around your lace. Um, so we go into a lot of detail. Okay, again, this is Femi from Femi S here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video, okay? Bye.